Hello guys, welcome to another video in the series of coding. Today we are going to solve the problem which is called Coco eating bananas. So there is a guy Coco who loves to eat bananas and there are piles of bananas that are given. Now he has to eat them within H hours otherwise the guards will come back. So Coco can decide the bananas per hour eating speed and she chooses some piles of bananas and eats K bananas from that pile. If the pile is less than K bananas, she eats all of them instead. Okay, Coco likes to eat slowly but wants to finish eating all the bananas before the guards return. So return the minimum integer k such that she can eat all the bananas within h hours. Let's try to take this example to understand the problem. Okay, so these are the piles of bananas. So there is a first pile which is having uh, let's say three bananas something like this. Okay, and there is a second pile which is having six bananas. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, there is the third pile which is having seven bananas. So let me try to draw it quickly. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. And there is a last pile which is having 11 bananas. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Okay, there are these 4 piles of bananas. Now guards will come back within 8 hours, right? So she has to eat the bananas within 8 hours, okay? She has to eat them within 8 hours. Because if she eats them um, like after... 8 hours, if she takes more time to eat than 8 hours, guards will come back. And if guards come back, she will not be able to eat the bananas, guards will catch her. So, she wants to eat all the bananas, that is her aim. And she has to eat them all within 8 hours, okay. But we have to try to find the minimum possible speed of bananas eating that she can take, okay. So, let us start with the uh, simplest case, right. Minimum speed that is possible is 1, right. So, let us start from 1. What happens if her speed is 1? If her banana eating speed is 1, in that case, how many hours will she take? Let's try to calculate. So, she will eat the first banana in 1 hour, again, in, again second banana in 1 hour, third banana in 1 hour. So, in this case, she will take 3 hours to eat these pile of bananas. If her, if her speed of eating bananas is 1, let me write here. Let's start with the minimum possible case because we have to find the minimum answer. So, let us start with speed of 1. So, for this pile, it will take her 3 hours. For this pile, it will take her 6 hours, right? Because she has 6 bananas and each, each banana she is eating in at 1 banana per hour. So, it will take her 6 hours to eat 6 bananas, right? Simple. This pile, she will take 7 hours. This pile, she will take 11 hours. Okay. So, what is her total speed? 3 plus 6, 9. 9 plus 7, 16. 16 plus 11, 27, right? So, she will take 27 hours. Okay. Guards will come back in 8 hours, right? So, she needs to increase her speed because if she will take 27 hours to eat the bananas, before she finishes eating all the bananas, guards will come back sometime and she will not be able to eat. So, we will have to increase her speed, okay? Let's try to increase the speed. So, the next possible solution is make the speed to 2 because if she increases the speed, then the time to eat bananas will decrease, okay? That's what we want because now her time is too much. See, if she has only, if her speed is only 1, in that case, the time she is taking is 27, okay? Let me write here. If her speed is 1, then the time she is taking to eat the bananas is 27 hours. But she needs to complete within 8 hours. So, this is not a possible solution, okay? Let us increase the speed to 2 and let us see the time that she is taking. So, if she eats 2 bananas in every hour, right? So, these 2 she can eat, right? These 2 she will eat in 1 hour. But this banana will be left out. So, for her it will take 2 hours to eat this pile right first part of the pile she will be able to eat in one hour but next still one banana is remaining so she will still need one more hour okay so the answer will be two similarly we can find out how many hours it takes for this pile so her speed is two so every two pair of uh, every two bananas every pair of bananas she will be able to eat in one hour so the answer is simply six by two right in this case it is three here in this case the answer will be seven by two okay so she will be able to eat um, in 3 hours but one banana will be left out. For example, these 3 piles she will be able to eat in 3 uh, hours and one banana will be left out. So, she will need one more hour. So, answer is 4. Okay. So, basically the answer is simply ceiling value. So, ceiling of for example 11, 11 by 2. Speed in this case is 2. So, ceiling of 11 by 2. So, in this case what will be the answer? 11 by 2 is 5. 
uh, if you take the integer but if you take the ceiling it will be 6 so it will be 6 hours for this pile so what is the key, uh, answer in this case 2 plus 3 5 5 plus 4 9 9 plus 6 15 okay so if she if her speed is 2 it will still take her 15 hours it is still greater than h right so this is also not the correct answer because guards will come back at 8 hours and she is still eating so guards will catch her okay so let's increase the speed more let us make the speed equal to 3 okay let us increase the speed and make it equal to 3 now let's quickly calculate 3 by 3 is equal to 1 so she will take 1 hours and she will be able to take eat all the bananas in this case she will take 2 hours because her speed is 3 okay so she will take 2 hours in this case she will take 3 hours okay? and in this case she will take 1 2 3 and 4 hours okay so 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 4 plus 3 is 7 7 plus 2 is 9 9 plus 1 is 10 if her speed is 3 she will uh, take 10 hours okay it is still greater than the time which is permitted which is it should be within 8 hours okay so still this is not the solution so in this case also we will have to increase our speed so this is also not the solution now let us increase the speed to 4 hours so if her speed is 4 hours in that case what will happen this pile she'll be able to eat in one hour this pile she'll be able to eat in um two hours right this pile she'll be able to eat in two hours again and this pile she will be able to eat in three hours okay so the answer is three plus two five five plus two seven seven plus one eight so in this case she will be able to eat within the time okay so the time is she has to eat within 8 hours and in this case she will be able to eat so the minimum possible answer is 4 okay let's try to see how we can increase the time complexity so i have written down the answer for speed from 1 to a lot of values okay so first thing we can notice is that after after some point the value saturates right and what is that point that point is a maximum element okay see because the maximum that best you can do is taking the maximum element in the array in that case uh, it will take one hour to each e uh, to eat each of the piles right because maximum it's going to take this much only maximum it will take 11 a speed of 11 to eat all the piles after that if you increase speed also it doesn't matter okay always it's going to take the length of the array in this case the length of the array is 4 so it will take 4 okay so there is no point in um, trying to calculate after the maximum element so let us reduce the uh, problem so the problem is very simple now see we have to start from speed 1 to the maximum element possible in the array and we have to find the time okay we have to start from 1 because 1 is the minimum possible time so we have to find the minimum possible time at which the time is less than equal to 8 in this case 8 is nothing but h so the time at which we are uh getting the value time less than equal to 8 that is our answer so if we do a linear search if we start from 1 and we increase our speed so at 4 we will hit the threshold okay so we are basically doing a linear search we are starting from 1 and we are increasing the speed okay slowly from 1 to m we have the possible search space where m is the maximum element and in this case slowly we are doing a linear search and we are increasing the speed and the point at which at which the time is becoming less than equal to h in that case we are getting our answer okay this is the logic so in this case what we are doing since we are iterating from 1 to m we have m possible uh, iterations that we need to do because sometimes it's it's possible that the answer if h was equal to 4 right in this case the answer you will get at uh, this value only at the last value so at maximum you will have to run all the m iterations okay and uh, at each of the m iterations what you are doing you are basically looping over all of the values in the array to calculate the sum right so the time complexity is o of m into n how can we increase this time complexity see instead of doing a linear search what if we did a binary search okay binary search will be very helpful here because in this case uh, if speed is increasing the time is decreasing or remaining constant so what will happen is see if we do a binary search instead of going from 1 to m right we are reducing the search space by 2 every time so it will not be m into n if we do a binary search the time complexity will be log of m into n this is the best that we can do okay let's see how binary search is going to work so 
द लो लोएस्ट पॉसिबल आंसर इज वन ओके हाइएस्ट पॉसिबल आंसर इज लेवन बिकॉज लेवन इज द मैक्सिम एलिमेंट आफ्टर दैट इज सैचुरेट्स देर इज नो पॉइंट टू डू दिस ओके सो लो इज वन हाई इज इक्वल टू लेवन ओके वॉट विल बी द मिड वैल्यू मिड वैल्यू इज इक्वल टू वन प्लस लेवन इज ट्वेल्व ट्वेल्व बाई टू इज इक्वल टू सिक्स सो इंस्टेड ऑफ स्टार्टिंग फ्रॉम वन ओके इंस्टेड ऑफ स्टार्टिंग फ्रॉम वन एंड रीचिंग द आंसर वॉट वी आर गोइंग टू वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट फ्रॉम सिक्स एट सिक्स वी नो दैट द टाइम इज इक्वल टू सिक्स राइट एट सिक्स द टाइम इज सिक्स सो वी नो दैट द टाइम इज सिक्स ओके वी नीड टाइम लेस देन इक्वल टू एट ओके वी नो दैट सिक्स फॉर द वैल्यू सिक्स द टाइम इज सिक्स एंड दैट इज लेस देन एट सो वी नो दैट द आंसर विल बी डेफिनेटली लेस देन सिक्स सिक्स कैन ऑल्सो बी अ पॉसिबल आंसर ओके एस ऑफ नो सिक्स इज अ पोटेंशियल कैंडिडेट बिकॉज सिक्स इज सैटिसफाइंग द कंडीशन सिक्स लेस देन इक्वल टू एट सो द आंसर इज can be 6 okay but it can be something lesser also okay it's possible that if we decrease the speed still we can get a time which is satisfying the constraint of time less than equal to 8 okay and we want to find the minimum possible value of the speed right so we can still get a better answer so but the answer will lie within this range so we need not even look at these these ranges we can um, reduce the search space to half because anything greater than 6 will Also give a time less, but what we want, we want the minimum possible uh, speed. Minimum speed will only be gotten by reducing the search space to this side. Okay, so potential candidate for answer. Let me note it here. Potential candidate for answer is six as of now. We don't know if six is the answer, but six is the candidate for answer. Okay, and now let us um, remove our high. So what will be the high value? High will become equal to high will be equal to five. So Uh, the threshold the, the search space is reduced so we have low is equal to 1 high is equal to 5 and what is the mid value mid value is 3 1 plus 5 is 6 6 by 2 is 3 okay so now we will look here so at 3 what is happening is if we see at 3 the time is 10 now what we need we need time to be less than equal to 8 but 10 is greater than 8 so this is not satisfying this cannot be the answer okay this is not the answer if this is not the answer right anything less than 3 can also not be the answer because if we reduce the speed we will increase the time if 10 is greater than 8 15 is also greater than 8 27 is also greater than 8 okay all these values will be greater than 8 but we want the time which is less than equal to 8 okay so if we take this search space this is definitely not the answer so again our search space has reduced to only this okay our search space has reduced to this so let me increase the low 3 is not the answer that means 1 or 2 can also not be the answer so low will become equal to 4 high is equal to 5 and what is mid mid will be 4 so in this case when mid is equal to 4 we are getting the answer okay we will get the answer in which time is less than equal to 8 okay time is equal to 8 for the case of 4 and 8 is less than equal to 8 so 8 is definitely a potential candidate so now next case what will happen since this is satisfying the answer okay we know that anything less than 4 can be the answer but already what we are seeing is low is also 4 our mid is also 4 okay so in this case high will also become equal to 4 next time and finally we will stop the iteration so now let's move forward to coding it so we have to uh, first of all declare low low is 1 what is the high high is equal to the maximum element in the array max element of files dot begin to files dot end okay now let us do the usual binary case binary search code so first we will declare um, low should be less than high till that we can keep on iterating so we will take mid mid value is just low plus high by 2 okay now we will take a function to calculate uh, the time that we are getting okay so let me take a, a time function Okay, let's write time function. We are going to send our mid. We are going to send the piles um, vector to that function, and that function will let's say calculate the time. Okay, so let's say in time, it will give the time. Now this time should be less than equal to um, less than equal to h for it to be the answer. Okay, so if this time is less than equal to h, right? This will be a potential candidate. So let me take answer. So let's initially give answer equal to zero, and let's say if time is less than equal to h, right? So in this case, then your potential candidate will become equal to mid. Okay, but 
this does not mean that this is the answer for example in our case when we started with 6 6 was also giving us the solution okay but it doesn't mean that 6 is the right answer there can be some other lower answer which can uh, give give a better uh, possibility so we will have to reduce the search space okay so we are uh, storing it storing the candidate in answer and we will also reduce the search space so high will be equal to mid minus 1 okay else you can increase low low is equal to mid plus 1 that's it now let us uh, call this time function so let me declare this time function here and that will return the sum okay so we are sending mid value and we are also sending the piles so let me take sum equal to 0 and for int i equal to 0 i less than files dot size i plus plus so all the elements of the array we are going to iterate and we are going to okay basically what we have to do we have to take the ceiling value of okay the element that is currently there right piles of i okay for example if let's say your speed is let's say your speed is equal to um, 5 okay so in this case suppose 7 right 7 is the uh, banana uh, number of bananas you have so the answer will be 2 in this case because see what you are doing is basically you are doing 7 by 5 okay but if you do 7 by 5 the integer value will be 1 right so but you have but the answer in this case should be 2 because you will eat 5 bananas in 1 hour and remaining bananas also you will eat in 1 hour so the answer should be 2 in this case so basically uh, you have to not simply do piles of i divided by uh, mid but rather this is the case okay this is the case uh, which will uh, give you 1 okay 7 by 5 will give you 1 but you also need to add another one in case you have a reminder you need to add another one and make it 2 so we will check if we have a reminder so if piles of i mod mid not equal to 0 okay if this is true then we will add another one so then this will give us the proper answer okay so this is the condition that we can check okay that's it and finally we can return sum so this will calculate the sum and if the time is less than equal to h this will be the answer so finally you can return answer let's check and see if this is working this working let's sum it and see it's working that's it thank you for being patient and listen